Hello and welcome to uh, Luma DMX tutorial videos. Luma DMX is a software DMX controller that can easily be used with external controllers to create great professional lighting shows. There is also a realistic 3D visualizer so that you can test your shows at home on your computer without having to go to a club or have a big lighting setup there for you to be able to practice. This is an overview tutorial where I'll take you through the interview interface and the tools that Lumen DMX puts at your disposal. We'll start with the mixer and the live panel. So up here we have the mixer button. This will bring up the mixer panel which gives you access to the faders for the DMX channels. On the left we have the universe button. DMX is limited to a maximum of 512 channels, so Luma DMX provides multiple sets of the 500 channels. We call them universes. And here you can choose between the mixer panel and the fixture button. This button here uh, resets all the DMX channels to zero, and this one sets all to full to 255. You can also do this to consecutive channels with the left and right button. The freeze button stops all DMX output to the interface. And the blackout button kills all output from the program to any external devices. Uh, we have the DMX in, which can be used with external interface. Manual means that the channel can only be controlled manually with the mixer. And out is the default setting, which enables automation for each channel. Uh, you can see also we can also set the input and output of each channel. We have LTP and HTP, last transmitted parameter and highest transmitted parameter. And mix can be set for uh, either individual channels or for the whole mixer by using these buttons here. And then this here is the command line button and this opens the text-based interface which allows you more advanced controls. You can put in macros and things. So this is probably recommended for more advanced users. The next button along uh, is the light bulb button opens the DMX board. This gives you a real-time view of the DMX value between 0 and 255 for each channel that you would want to work with in the universe. It's a really useful tool to be able to get an overview of what's going on while you control things. And next button across is the X1 3D Visualizer software. and We'll try and get a new tutorial video for that soon. And then we have the live panel design tool. This enables you to add and remove buttons, tools, and sliders and things from the live panel here. So next we have the setup and patch tab. The DMX hardware button allows you to add an external DMX hardware controller. And it also lets you set which universe you want that controller to be working on. The MIDI button enables you to set up and configure preset controls for your external MIDI controller. As you can see. The first button on the Setup and Patch tab is Add Fixture. This is where you can choose from Lumi DMX's extensive range of lighting fixtures from some of the world's top companies. You can see here. We will select a high-end Cyberlight, drag it into DMX Channel 1, like so. And you will now see that the light is available for control on the mixer panel and also in the fixture con control at the bottom. Okay, the next tab along is the show editor. This is the heart of the program where incredible shows can be created, where you can use a timeline function. But uh, later we'll go over how to create light sequences and uh, these are then placed on the show editor and you can get some really good effects from that. Then we have the 2D editor view. Uh, the second button along here will undock the 2D console so that you can have it floating over whatever window you have. And you can see here the light fixture that we patched in just now is uh, visible here in the editor. So when we switch back to the mixer, the 2D editor will still be visible 
And when you make changes in the fixture control, you'll be able to see it happen in the 2D editor as well. You can also do some things like add in a background picture onto your uh, onto the 2D editor to give you some reference for your stage. So the final button we have is the Tools tab. The button with the star icon on the top left is the Effect Generator. You need to select a fixture by clicking it on the bottom left. And then you can create an effect that controls movement or a chaser or the color for your chosen light fixture. You can choose to have multiple controls in one effect by clicking the button with two cogs. And the single cog button on the left creates the effect in the library. The note icon is the BPM detection tool. This will automatically evaluate the BPM beats per minute of audio running on your computer and is a great help for syncing lights to music when creating a timeline show. So the light bulb open button opens the DMX board we saw before. This is a very important window um, and it will show you all the values and for your universe. You can choose and highlight a fixture and also whether it displays the DMX value or the preset which the fader is enabled to. The coffee button opens the macro editor. This is a code coding tool that allows you to add text instructions for use in the command line. We recommend this as well for advanced users. The speaker button opens up the audio mix mixer. This will enable you to control the audio output level. And as you can see, um, it will stay on top of the, uh, in the window will stay on top of whatever tab that you choose to select. So you can easily um, maintain the, the audio level that you like, no matter where you are in the program. Okay, so now we've covered the main buttons and control of Luma DMX. Why don't you um, start up a new project and have a little practice?